after the first case of COVID-19, this disease caused by a new strain of coronavirus was announced in US and all over the world. And reports of further infections have trickled in slowly, but look at where we are two months later. This so-called exponential curve has the expert worry. If the number of cases were to continue to double every three days, there would be 100, 100 million cases in the United States by May, and there will be, again, hundreds of million cases around the world. Let's see what happens when this disease spreads in the town of 200 people. We start with everyone in town at random positions, moving at random angles, and we make one person sick. And notice how the slope of the red curve is. It represents the number of sick people. And it rises rapidly as the disease spreads and then tapers off as people recover. Now, when it comes to COVID-19, we would prefer to slow the spread of the virus before it infects a large portion of the population. And to slow it down, we and countries typically enforce forced quarantine, such as the one we've recently seen the Chinese government imposed on the province of Hubei. Now, as you can see what's happening in this simulation, it's it's going to be impossible to completely seal off the sick population from the healthy one. Now, there are other ways to slow down the outbreak. Health officials often encourage people to avoid public gatherings, stay at home more often, keep distance from others. This is also known as social distancing. If people are less mobile and interact less with each other, the virus has fewer opportunities to spread. So this is what happens when a quarter of our population continues to move around while the other three quarters adopt the strategy, what health experts call social distancing. Now, more social distancing keeps people even more healthier. And we control this desire um, to be in public spaces by closing down these public places. So Italy is closing down all of its restaurants. China is closing everything. And in, in other countries, we're seeing a lot, of, a lot of places being closed down. To simulate this more extensive social distancing, instead of allowing a quarter of the population to move, this is what happens when we let just one of every eight people move. So as you can see, moderate social distancing, we usually outperform the attempted quarantine. And the extensive social distancing usually works best of all. In one crucial respect, though, these simulations are nothing like the reality. Unlike these simulations, COVID-19 can actually kill. And if you want this to be more realistic, well, some of the dots should disappear.